a quick little video. I gave the uh, car a bath today. Mainly because it's been been grinded on and dirt has been accumulating. And it's sort of it's fun washing the car. Anyway, no needs work. But I do want to point out something here. I did fit this trim ring or wheel well ring and uh, I don't know if you remember this in one of the other videos I fought with this uh, it's pretty crinkled up here but uh, th there's not much I can do with this I'm gonna I'm only really having it on here for test fitting but I'm gonna try to get some of these bumps out I wound up having to put a screw here to uh, hold everything together but I'm just really going for fit and placement and uh, I think it turned out pretty well. You know, not perfect, but it's not supposed to be a perfect machine. It's supposed to be a good running, uh, fun car. That's it. See ya. Yeah, another thing I did. Uh, cleaned up and put back in the kick panels. Uh, still need some work on these guys. I may have to paint them. But, yeah, just a little bit more finished off. And one of these days I'll just get carpeting. It's somewhere down the line. Just $160, $170 I don't have right now. More important things to work on. At the heater box, I'd like to paint that black. I'll probably get that out somewhere soon. It looks a little ugly. Uh, otherwise, I uh, did some more cleaning on the steering wheel. Uh, probably really can't tell. But, you know, all these little things I'm getting done. Yeah, me again. One other thing I forgot to take care of here. Um, I don't know if you remember this, but um, this bezel, cone bezel around the light was flapping in the wind. And what I noticed is it had cracks in the lens. And I had another set of these. So I wound up putting the uh, replacement one on there. No cracks. And then bezel nicely tight, but then I also noticed that I had some rust issues down here, some rust holes. So I put in a little filler strip there, a little filler strip up here. Oh, one more thing. I don't know if you can see it or not. Yeah, right here. Uh, I used a little test bondo right here uh, to see how I could contour that in, and I'm pretty happy with the results of this. Uh, feels really good. You know, this isn't all the way sanded down, but I think the Bondo is definitely going to work with filling in um, this, these uh, weld marks. So, that's it. So, oh, I lied. Uh, did I tell you, I also got some... These look streaky in this light, but it's just the, how the uh, pile lays on this, but... Uh, just a, a little hiding action here on a couple of uh, these um, pads or chairs. I got one under my ass as well. So it just uh, kind of cleans out the whole deal a little bit. Yeah, makes it look a little, a little nicer. Finish patching in some of this uh, until I can afford new um, seat covers. This, this is going to have to do. Rear seat looks real nice, except for that up there, of course. But, you know, if you squint your eyes, everything looks good. See ya. Ah, and this is why you have these cars. Beautiful Sunday, just driving around, grinning in your face. Ah, beautiful. Really love that. The 1966 Dodge Dart in the GT trim line.